to us With our mouth bridging and collide such and guess it's all I have 244 emails. Are we, Ooh. are we recording already? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, then, we can't. We got to stop talking about what we were talking about. Yeah, that, well, you have uh, to leave I that keep out. recording stuff, and you guys keep saying, ah, we killed someone. <laughs> what? We killed, um, um, we killed someone. I didn't kill, whoa. Oh, Old we... Johnny. <laughs> Why did we kill old Johnny? That is you usually the remember. person that Look, we... he stabbed me. What? Old Johnny stabbed you? In, old Johnny. In, in uh, behind the, uh, what's the bar that uh, Verdi used to work at? Oh, uh, Farrell's. 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 He stabbed me behind He's... Farrell's. And so we killed him for that? Yeah. Uh, you pushed him. Okay. What? Um, And then Jim punched him. And he fell back, and and he tripped on a rock, and kind of twisted his neck. So it was like inadvertent. We didn't mean to. Oh man! Oh. Of course. Mm-hmm. This okay. So this sounds like a good okay. So what happens? What, uh, oh shit! God oh my damn, god! Is I that hate... the? It's the police. Sorry, it's me. They found out. Jeez Louise! Oh, you just sent it. Oh. My phone just blew up. Sorry. It's okay. Oh no. Um, Does that mean he got a lot of texts? I think so. Man. But, um, so what, okay, mm-hmm. so uh, this sounds like the beginnings of a great uh, either horror movie or, you know. Uh, I, I'm some, thinking some more type uh, of, of, of cinema. teen comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! You busted his fucking head open. Yeah, mate. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> also, what we are pl- we are played in the movie by um, people from the United Kingdom who <laughs> don't do a job of at all of disguising their accents to mimic a New Yorker. Yeah, because then it's like um, like OJ when he wrote the book. It's like deniability. You, you know, it would be hard to get British people to play. Uh, a New Yorker because generally it's actually easier for people mimicking no, the like, American language to mimic the Southern dialect. Okay, I think there's more like um, more to hold on to. There's well, more meat to it. Matt, exactly. We would just pay them to not. They they would they would speak like English people. They wouldn't even try. But that's uh, but the, okay. <laughs> I would just I don't know. You just want British so people have British to play accent, but yeah. they, they they like it's deniability. They're saying they're Look, from Middle Village. It's it's um it's our legal defense, and it's probably not going to hold up. <laughs> but <laughs> we can hire a lawyer together and then sit on a bench. We didn't together. actually kill the person. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> this is just a a bit, <laughs> and we totally didn't kill that man. Old oh, Jack. You said a different name than he did. No, he said Wink. I said Wink. Oh, Wink. Oh. Yeah, whenever Matt winks, he says Wink. It's yeah. real weird. I'm very indiscreet. We're on, we're on a podcast. <laughs> so they would know otherwise. Yeah. Well, they know. They've got the... It's courteous uh, in this setting. They've got the aqua Stupid vision. in any other. <laughs> they've got the aqua vision? Wait, they can see it? If you pay two ninety nine, you can have like a general um, mutish like VR feel. What? Yeah. Two nine, like two dollars and ninety nine cents a month, and then you get a VR feed into the room. You still didn't answer. Okay, so it's on two, YouTube. For three bucks on YouTube. We're wow. not getting any money. We're not getting any money. No, they said they exclude. They actually, I have to pay. I them. hate all these great ideas you have that don't end in us getting money. Hmm. Hey, I had the build a shed, portable shed. That's true. You did have. <laughs> Look, Matt. You need a. You need to, a shed built. You come to our website. Design your own shed. Your ultimate shed. Click, you know, click create. Okay. I need a shed. Mine's breaking down. All right. Get me a shed. Okay. The <laughs> new automatic uh, quick, quick time design print out through the computer and they are then assembled by uh-huh. people. Yes. What he said. And you I have feel to like visit we the could... website though. I feel it's like basically we, what he means. I feel so. like we could t- save a ton of money with automation here mm-hmm. uh-huh. and have a, a 
a machine build the sheds. All right, let's do it. <laughs> robots building we're, sheds. Wait, we're that's gonna, how it started. <laughs> we're gonna have to build the robots that build. The, mm-hmm. Yeah, we're we'll gonna s- have to build shell Love. shed. Oh boy. <laughs> Shed building robots. They have. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Here it comes. That, um, was, that was tough. <laughs> they do have um, YouTube videos about it. About building robots. Yeah. So we, as long as we watch like at least a hundred of those, I think we'll be good. A hundred videos on YouTube about building robots. Yeah. I actually, I think that we would have some basic ideas we, on how to like at least work uh, one of those solder guns by the end of that Ooh, you know that'd be good we'd have a ba- we'd have a pretty good list of shit we'd have to buy that we never would mm. so i don't think i would that would be good. horrible i don't think we'd make it through three videos though. nah we <laughs> could would. you imagine the because uh a lot of times at work if i don't know how to do something i'll like google it i'll watch a video on youtube and uh boy oh boy Finding a video on YouTube of like a how to mm-hmm. with someone who has like a decent microphone and then oh. also a decent voice is a rare find. Is it? It is a rare. Like, but th- for technical stuff. Right. You know what I mean? But then, like, if you want to look up like how to make a birdhouse, you got 10,000 different videos <laughs> of 97 year old white guys making it at every different pace you can imagine. <laughs> oh, different styles. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. I, I it's like I think you can make a lot of money just making videos on like how to create thing. a rule and outlook. But like, if the video is good, <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Oh, you're shit. absolutely right. Well, I think that's there are... that's actually a pretty think... good idea. I mean, they exist. Well, that's I know, so but like, if they're the, funny uh... or good. Oh, so if you, they were funny and 10 it, seconds long it would be funny if the bit was like how to videos but like basic ass shit and they get frustrated when we get it wrong <laughs> like we're oh. just like we're just like yeah you know just go to this stupid fucking thing whatever yeah. this is right here <laughs> this little hamburger menu i yeah. don't know what they call this you want to you wanna click on your squanch right there <laughs> <laughs> But then it perfectly works out. It's like, this guy doesn't know anything. What the hell does he know this? <laughs> Every single person that watches this squanches and gets and opens their tabs. <laughs> so this is how you attach a file to an email, and you're a moron for watching this? <laughs> Where's the paper clip? I can't find it. You know, the whole thing worked really good, but I think you can eliminate step seven, wash your cat completely, and have the same effect. <laughs> Yeah, then I won't have a clean cat. My Next cat comment. <laughs> my cat can't clean itself. It's a problem. We I don't think like... that'd be a decent idea for a YouTube uh, channel. Get but, on but, it. I don't know. Would Microsoft shut you down? No. Or uh, any of those? Uh, I know a guy. You know a guy? Yeah. Like I know other. I know guys. I know a guy. Who knows? A Microsoft guy? Another guy. <laughs> if you... <laughs> No, I don't. I mean, Bill. He's making eye contact with me through the microphone. Thing. Like, there it is. There it is. Hey. We're looking at each other through periscopes. Oh, here. so you're, so that's the guy. I'm you playing know. Battleship with Matt. That'd be great, <laughs> Matt. You'd be. You should be the guy. I want to be the guy. All right. You'd be the guy on the videos. I would write him. Yeah, you you write them. I'll read them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then I'll yell at the stuff at you to say. And then Al does the rest of the work. Yeah, all almost all of it, like I'll, all the st- good stuff. We are gonna have to hire a uh, person to be you, a news anchor. No, it's Matt. Yeah, I'm the guy. Yeah, me. Oh my god. <laughs> um. What if you could, you if you were, how many what, pictures are you taking? What are you doing? I can't focus on you. I'm oh, sorry. That's why. Oh, gotcha. If you were to work for a news team, what member of the news team would you be? Would you be the weather guy, wacky weather? Would you be the, would Easy, you be the reporter? Easily weather guy. Yeah. Easily. Because no the why? weather guy gets has to work hard when like when weather's the news. When here's, weather is the news, here's when Mr. G is fucking everywhere. Okay, yeah, Mr. G, <laughs> Mr. G's everywhere. Here's Mr. G during the entire winter season. 
Uh, looks like it's gonna snow, you know, maybe about six inches. Oh, what's that? Oh, I got three feet! Oh, no! Bullshit. Oh, 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 guys, it's gonna snow again this time. It is gonna be 14 feet high. Uh-huh. It is gonna be... Oh, it's three inches. They know nothing. I... They guess. I... But what about the internet? I disagree. I disagree. Here's Matt. here's the thing. You okay. can't control the wind. And that's what it all comes down to is wind. That's true. You can't control the wind. Then you shouldn't try to predict it. Yes, they should. There's an entire industry of them trying to predict it. You, here's what makes me disbelieve in the whole weather guy system. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, first off, number one, you can know a lot about how climate is going to affect the weather. But like you said, you can't control the wind. Yeah. You cannot. So... Anything that you say at a whim can be blown away. It's going to suck. Be prepared for whatever. Have an umbrella in your car. You're an adult. I don't know, man. (laughs) I think technology has advanced so much. So, like, there's a lot of times where they'll say it's going to be 50 degrees. And it's within 50 for most of the day. That's fair. I I get. I I mean, I temperature and um, I'm gonna adjust this. I'm sorry, Al. This is fucking with me right now. All right. It feels like it's very weak. There we go. It's a weak little baby. You're a weak little baby. Hey. That's better. One, two. Am I good? I'm gonna come over here. (laughs) And I'm uh. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna gonna record it. We're gonna slow dance. We're gonna kiss. What? We're gonna get sexy. But uh, like. To conti- right. to, so on that <laughs> note, <laughs> to continue on, who knows whether or not the weather guy is right most of the time besides temperature. Like, okay, for example, My we're going to get three inches of rainfall this weekend. I believe in the weather. Was it three right? inches or 72 feet? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> no one's really out there counting. No, like, I just... They have robots. Meh. They have robots. Like, they do have robots. You're not wrong. Um... Follow up question, mm-hmm. and th- this is really important. Uh, what is the difference between the temperature and the real feel? Because the temperature is what it <coughs> accurately is, and then if it's windy, it feels less. That's wind but, chill. But yeah, that's what I mean. If it feels feel. that cold, mm-hmm. how is it not? Because your that skin cold. Your skin isn't a like super accurate detector or it's it, or, or the I don't know cuz your ha- you have hair cuz you have clothing on I don't know but it that's how it's supposed to be like All I'm saying is like, I think this real feel thing is total bullshit it, it, sometimes you're just looking at your phone real feel what it is that's and what, that's, that's what it feels like that yeah but that's what it is Then why yeah. do we have the other thing that's redundant that's the scientific the scientific thing. Let the nerds deal, deal with that. The scientific that. thing is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I don't. My point. Why would is you that, not put the accurate temperature then? No, but it's not the accurate temperature. It's gonna be warm. It's no. It's not the accurate temperature because if the temp accurate temperature is five degrees, but the real, but it really feels like negative twelve. It's fucking negative twelve degrees. Is my point. It's not five. No. Yes. You because did, that doesn't make any sense because then it makes it, sense to me sure it does ba- no, no, makes no, sense to my cold body you're basing it on your temperature instead yeah. of a relative the, the free you know but we're and I'm the not only basing thing it off that, but degrees are based off of when water freezes and shit that's why it's those degrees you know what I mean it's yes a, it's I'm separate, aware of that I know I know that but like my point I don't know I think because then it's just bullshit. like you're describing. I understand wind chill. Yeah, I get wind chill. Because like I get it. if you were to say like, listen guys, it's five degrees, but when the wind blows, it's negative twelve. Got it. That's different. Or just, but you can't just tell me that it's five and it really feels like negative twelve. You know what? Because then I'm saying fuck I'm you. I'm switching sides. Actually, I'm kind of jumping over to his side now. My side? No, his side. Oh fuck you! I'm sorry. I was with you in the beginning. I was like, yeah, fuck the real feel. <laughs> but then now thinking about it, the way they do it is they give one thing, and that's for all of the important shit. That's for sailors to know. Okay, I can't go out tonight because the water's gonna freeze. Mm-hmm. That's for you know. Or uh, the fish th- don't come out when it's. This this cold exactly shit like that exactly i mean that's all those are two fish all right hold on hold on hold on here's the question then here's the question so water freezes at 32 degrees that's the number we're going to use okay. 32 degrees because that's that's the important number for okay. example correct 
Is yes, it? correct? Yes. All right. So the 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 temperature right now, gentlemen, thirty three. Okay. All right. It's thirty three degrees. The real feel though, twenty to one. It's twenty eight. Okay. What are we gonna do? I read both and dress so, uh, accordingly. Is, uh, is the water? Well, you don't go gonna, out is the water gonna freeze? Do we have to? Like, what do we have to do? Like, because well, that it? that one you don't even need the real feel temperature for. Because if you're going water freezes at 32 it's 33 it could drop a degree so you don't go like the the real feel thing to me is just kind of like and now i'm i'm seeing it more from his side now because it's like the it feels like it's gonna like when you're walking around it's gonna feel like negative 12 but for all you people who actually need to know what the act like what it actually earthly is. temperature okay. is but, okay it's this. I, I can see why nick what Nikolai is saying though, because like so many people don't use it at the same time. Because will the water really feel it? But at, at the same time, eight yeah. degrees instead it's... of thirty three, and freeze. That's uh, that's a fair point. Because that's my that that's my question. Is, a, will the water a... get that real feel? See, weather's bullshit. Or is the real feel <laughs> only in my phone? Let us know what you think in the comments. Because yeah. you keep saying that the real feel is my. Like how I'm gonna feel about the weather, mm -hmm. but all the information I'm gathering is given to me by my phone. My phone doesn't know that I actually feel it. Well then, uh, oh, oh, is there an app that just tells you like warm? Or no, it just tells you the real <laughs> feel. I I don't know. Maybe I think I just I don't know. The whole thing confuses me. I want to go back in time mm -hmm. and meet whatever <laughs> douchebag weatherman was like. You know what? Let's go, let's call ourselves meteorologists. Like we'll give ourselves a really cool, cool name. Cool name, you know. Yeah, meteors and stuff. Uh, we just guess weather. Because <laughs> whenever the weather is the news, people always blame the weatherman. Like, yeah. oh, there's a hurricane coming. Oh, thanks, Carl. Fucking Carl. My car's my car's gonna fucking rip through my upstairs bedroom again. It's gonna be great. It's all Carl's fault. Fucking Carl. Carl. Matt, did you tweet? I, Sorry. I did tweet. Ask. Did you tweet? Because I did. Uh, I, did I didn't watch uh, Walking Dead last night. What? You didn't? No. Did you watch it? No, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I didn't watch, watch it. it. I'll well, watch it. Do you want to stop well. recording right now? Go watch. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, what was he going to say? <laughs> Could imagine. <laughs> I had a long day at work. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh man. Um signed up for Horizon today. It was exciting stuff. Ooh. Verizon. Fios. <gasps> cutting the cord. Wait, Nikolai's. Not cutting her? the cord at all, but uh, wait, what do you mean? Well, I'm just not gonna have cable vision anymore. Or optimum, I should say. You oh, can't okay, so you're going to Fios. Yeah. Wait, you um, can't but watch. you're still gonna have like TV through Fios and shit. Of course. Oh, you okay. can have the triple play. I was like, I was like, cutting the cable means you're not doing the... I know. <laughs> That's why I said not really, because in no way am I gotcha. cutting the cable. You gotcha. can't um, okay. uh, watch public access anymore. You can't watch weird church people. Oh, I don't get to endure that anymore. No. <laughs> I don't get to have that kind of be a part of my life. I know I get to... I'll be missing out on uh, News 12, I think, as well. That's true. Those no. I have Fios. I have News 12. Do you? Yeah. Wow. What a perfect world we live in. What a great, <laughs> what a great fucking day it is. Wait, I'm do gonna, I have News 12? I'm going to lose a lot of uh, my recordings on my DVR. Though. Oh, that does. Oh. Yeah. You know, this is really sad stuff. Wait. I'm sure that you can back it up to an external hard drive. Yeah, you 100% probably can. I don't know how to do that. I'll get oh, you an external hard drive. We should have a fun day. Do it. <laughs> Setting up. I have up. a lot of SNLs from like the night they happen. Oh, right. Because I'm a weirdo. Uh, also, when they, they uh, edit them, the, like they certain sketches it. you'll never see the light of day of. If they're like true bombs. Right, you right. You won't see them again. And plus, when they replay SNLs, they're only an hour long. Instead and on, of an hour and, and they don't really have the... Uh, uh, clips on YouTube either. They, or maybe they do more they, now. No, they have a lot of the clips, but they, not older stuff. They had contracts with Hulu, I think it was. Okay. 
So they would come out on Hulu first, and then they would come out on uh, S- on YouTube. But now they do come out on YouTube because cheeky boys. They re- they realized that they were too late. Hulu, what are you doing? I don't know. This is really exciting stuff. Thank you so much for listening to RLF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we have some Twitter questions, but before we, we listen, read any of those Twitter questions, we need to listen to a song. That's right, we do. Well done. Scottish one. Uh, Our first Twitter question is going to be from Matt. (laughs) It's not from me. Oh, wow, Matt. It's not from me. Uh, It's from Captain Fish Titties. Wow. That's a good name. (laughs) Uh, Captain Fish Titties asks, if you could steal any Twitter at for your own. Oh, man. What would you take? Oh, boy. Uh, That's a good one. Now, I would... Let's preclude at oh boy. Let's preclude um like taking like oh I'm gonna take Walmart at Walmart. Okay, on so Twitter. it's no Don't money get, grabs. Like, a money grab. No money grab. Okay, you can't oh, get because go- you're gonna take at Walmart and then sell it to Walmart. Yeah, is what you're gonna say like okay. Let's not do money grab. Let's um, do funny grab. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. At Bacon Back Bitches. I'm sure that is available and you should take it look, right now. Look it up. No. Someone definitely Bacon has that. Bacon Back Bitches? I, nobody it, has that. I, don't, oh, I doubt it. That's so ridiculous. No, someone has it. Yeah, I mean, Bacon what, Ass Bitches. But Bacon Back Bitches is... Wait, what is it? I, oh, I just I got it wrong then. Bacon Back Bitches. No results. Oh man, we need to make it. Someone. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, everyone, we're signing up for Bacon Back Bitches. <laughs> How are you doing right now? Yes, this is what we're doing. I will. Uh, oh, I will man. continue to do this. You Please guys, follow Bacon Back Bitches at Bacon Back Bitches. I can't. I mean, the chilies, bacon, bacon back, back bitches. bitches. Barbecue sauce. I mean, the barbecue sauce is exquisite on those uh, bacon bag bitches. Oh yeah, man, that's so good. Um, good luck. Do you think that's gonna? We'll be able to do that. What bacon bag bitches? Yeah, well, what, that, on Twitter. Yeah, is that porn stars post pictures of themselves nude like with on Twitter? Yeah. Oh yeah, Twitter has got. I mean, they let foreign leaders lie to their countries on Twitter. Like I think that they're. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think they should be alright with bacon back bitches. <laughs> iTunes would not be. No. We'd get flagged on that. iTunes, but I don't know. Let's let's just get it out there. It's a new podcast. Bacon ass bitches. Do you really not know it? <laughs> no, I can't. Bacon back There's no way. bitches. There's no way. Bacon back. Bitches. Bacon back. Yes, bacon back bitches. Okay. Yeah, it's bacon back bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's bacon back bitches. Bacon back bitches. <laughs> it's like, I, I've said it so many times. It doesn't say. <laughs> but I wonder what the episode title is going to be. <laughs> um, what would your Twitter handle be, Matt, please? I want to take, like, okay. So I want to take McDonald's, but not to sell it back Bacon to them. Bacon ass bitches. Why did you get the? Where did you get ass from? Because <laughs> back, back, and, back and ass, back and ass, back that I, ass. Up. Okay, okay, all right. I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> Bacon ass. That's all I can say to myself. Is like, Where the fuck did you get ass from? <laughs> Good God. <sighs> Thanks. Uh, did someone ask a question? Yeah, Kevin Fish yeah, has asked a question that you only didn't answer, answer it yet. <laughs> We've only gotten through my answer and then a third of the intro to Matt's answer. Matt. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh my god. god. I want to take over McDonald's Twitter. No cash grabs. I'm not cash grabbing. Oh my I god, don't it's going to change the menu. 
I don't want to sell it back to them. Free, free. I want to fuck do with McDonald's. How's like? What do you want to do? I just want to be a di- like. I want to start a flame war against all the other fast food. Jo- oh chains. man, flame war! <laughs> yeah, why would you? I want to be it? like Burger King. Your burgers suck. <laughs> your dicks are all small. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You can just start a campaign where you just print openly false things like all of the chicken used at KFC mm. is baby chicken. <laughs> All of it. Every single piece of chicken you've eaten at KFC was once a baby chicken. <laughs> like, wait, what? I want, um, <laughs> uh, I would start offering items that didn't exist. <laughs> Come to McDonald's now and try the new Wop Dango. Oh, <laughs> man. Get some veal sliders. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, some lobster fries. Oh, wow. Baby penguin poppers. <laughs> Craw doodads. Dead crow family meal. Dead crow family meal? Dead? What? It's a big crow and your family <laughs> eats it. There's mashed potatoes in it and gravy. Oh, my God. It's the dead crow family meal with everybody's favorite, a healthy side of McDonald's. Mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> you know what the sad part is? What? That if McDonald's made mashed potatoes and gravy, first of all, you'd have to say it mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm. Um, it would be unbelievably delicious. Oh, oh man. It would be so good. Probably. I mean, they would just use a shit ton of butter and salt, and that's what makes mashed potatoes good. Yeah, I mean, that's what they would do. But yeah. think about what they did to coffee. They were yeah. just like, oh my god, everybody needs this shit every day, all the time. Let's make a good version for nothing. <laughs> True. And then they'll buy the burgers. The veal <laughs> sliders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's great. Um, you could buy a McDonald's and just start posting pictures of like... Ooh. Awful. Uh, no, I don't want to say it. It's going to be a bad joke. <laughs> it, no, it's unnecessary. <laughs> Like dog poop pictures? Probably dog poop pictures. I, <laughs> so, so I would steal McDonald's. Which All right. Twitter handle would you steal now? Um I am the celebrities? Ooh. Ooh, you Robert Downey Jr. from now on? No, I'm gonna steal Oh, no. that would be a Oh man, because then I could Alright. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Oh, you could take Justin Bieber's. Ooh. Here's what we're doing. Just post pictures of famous scientists no I, everybody would be so like why is he educating us <laughs> Stop. 280 character biographies oh my god that's a great idea um but i would do uh what was it um what's a what's a company that's uh, a movie company that's not like making good shit but they should be oh oh <laughs> Uh, I, you were, I thought you were going to say what's a movie company that's not making shit anymore and I was going to say Miramax um, oh it's Harvey Weinstein's company oh but no they're not making movies what anymore what company used to make uh, I guess you could say what is it Warner Brothers because they make all the DC movies and those are not as good as they should be yes even though Justice League wasn't bad it's just so what What company was that again Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers. I'll take them over and I'll be like, guess what? Uh, Judge Dredd 2 is coming out. Just make okay, up shit. So you, oh, wow. That's a great idea. Because that's a lot of power. <laughs> yeah. So you could just overnight turn... Like, hey, we should like, make a this... a powerhouse movie producing company into the, like, the next uh, st- sci-fi channel. Yeah. But like you, may, like you just announce sequels to movies that like people think would be like, okay, but then... No way. They're yep. never coming. You could I, like you, and you know your way around Photoshop, so you could make movie oh, posters yeah. for movies that don't like. Like I want to see. <laughs> uh, oh God, what is his name? Daniel Day Lewis in Sorry I Farted, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a picture of him like coming out of an <laughs> elevator. Like, <laughs> see, I was th- I was gonna go with like. Uh... You get Richard Dreyfus and it's Jaws two, Ooh. and then it's got a tagline like, "Hey, aren't there other Jaws sequels?" <laughs> and it's like, and then it's like, there's another line. And it just goes, "Shut the fuck up." It's Jaws two. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> just two. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Play a coach. Uh, <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? So, so uh, yeah, we that's could, a uh, lot of power. We could we could spread that is a lot of power. Some uh, some fake news, everyone. Man, that would be great. You oh my goodness, you could tweet execute order sixty six. Oh man, what do you think that would mean? For the McDonald's company. Oh, my God. (laughs) So immediately as that tweet goes out, the phone rings in the manager's office of every single McDonald's across the country. Instantaneously. Mm. Instantaneously. Manager picks up. Stop working and begin order 66. And then the McDonald's crew starts just taking people out. Oh, man. They start fucking murdering. Call the population. That's Order 66. Wow. Was it just people in their restaurant at the time and then they like clean up after themselves? No, they just, they take them out. Then they just take over. McDonald's secretly been training assassins. Wow. And then like, we just For $7.50 an hour (laughs) in good areas. (laughs) Oh man. Um, what was I going to say? So wait, like, are they going to take over the country like, like that? No, they just we got to eliminate some people for the better of the world. But what happens next? They're Maine ninjas, is very dangerous, and then we all like the rest of the population who didn't get murdered by the awful McDonald's. They just killings? fade off into the shadows. Wow, I think we. I were, have so many questions. I, think I know. Wait for the movie. I want to from this Warner movie. Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> McGenocide. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We have to stop them this now. This is so make interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Fish Titties, for your question, which kept us entertained for so long. Wow, <laughs> Captain Fish Titties. Did we have any uh, other Twitter questions? Uh, I think that one. That, that one was took a good one. A good that was a good one. Fine. You want to be that way? I do. I All do right. want to be that way. Do you want to put a sticker on the table? No, I don't want to put stickers on the table. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, good because you're picking this week. All right, let's get this over with. You motherfuckers. <laughs> That's a great way to approach <laughs> Sticker of the week. It's time for Sticker of the Week. <laughs> Let's get this over with, I'm motherfuckers. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, fine. It's man. fine. That's such a happy. <laughs> no, you said you had a bad day at work. It's, it's such fine, a happy dude. image too. Look at the sun I got. <laughs> Look how happy he is. He's the most joyous little sunshine. And then oh. I got a little TV, an old school TV. Oh, little nice. Out. And I have wow. And oh, it's the actual word. Wow. And world travelers. <laughs> Two killer, absolutely killer stickers. Um, Just really describes both the audience yes, and us. I have a pack of world travelers. Merca. Oh, Fuck wow. You. Oh, man. And quality. Quality. Uh, I mean, you know how much of a stickler I am for... Proof. Certified proof. Certified proof of, of good quality. All right, so I'm going to be going with my little sunshine, my ray of sunshine over here. Beautiful. I love that. In my heart and soul. Um, see you later, TV, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's actually a cool TV. I, I have an old school TV like that. Oh, oh, do you, oh, is that the one that you used to have in your um In the, uh, in the hangout conference? shed? Oh, it's in the hangout. That's right. That's a really good one. That still works. Yeah, I think so. There's just stuff in the shed, right? There's, there's, yeah, it's filled with crap. I will be going with quality. Quality Ooh. America. Not that I don't love old has glory. Has been turned down. Wow. But she has her place. I. Premium ingredients, quality, baked goods, and food. Which is how I describe the podcast to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I'm going with world travelers because it is a lie. All right. So it is a lie. It is a lie. So I gotta be honest, because of Al's line about quality, 
We are now going to be putting quality on this but on this table. Oh my god! And I want you to place it on the You've table. You've chosen Al. quality. Yep. Oh my Over god. quantity. <laughs> oh. Nailed it every time. Absolutely nailed it. Um, who? That's sexy. Where are we going to put this sucker? Do you guys have any suggestions as to where that should go? Yeah. I'm having trouble. Here. I don't know. I feel like everything we put is near the middle of the table, but that is also like a good spot to put the, the sticker. Like if we were uh, going to sell the table. Like, Which we won't ever do. No, no. Metaphorically. We've never sold anything from the podcast. I think I tried to sell a comic once. Nobody tried. Nobody cared. We talked about it on the episode and then I sold it on eBay. And nobody bid on it at all. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody bid on it at, at all. all. <laughs> was it was, the at all was extra? Like fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> was it a what comic book was it? It was a Fantastic Four comic. It it, it doesn't have actual like it's only worth ninety nine cents. Mm. But the shipping, you know, I charge full price for shipping. It's so. like fifty bucks. Yeah, I charge eight eight hundred dollars for wow. shipping one comic book. <laughs> Sales aren't going well. That, that comic book will get to you. Yes. <laughs> I hand deliver every order. <laughs> yes. You, I haven't had any orders. You take a vacation with, to their house. <laughs> that's, that's what I do with the 800 bucks. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Weather app just dinged me. Expect rain tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think I've ever met someone with such like hatred for the weatherman. <laughs> I just threw it because it was a callback. It was a callback. What no. do they say about callbacks? You know, it's a callback. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a dog. That was, that was terrible. <laughs> you guys didn't bark at all. Because I, I didn't do it. I, I Matt did I it. I did it, which yeah. is awkward. Yeah, I'm the one who says, you know, that's a callback, but I didn't want to. Well, fine. I, I did. Fucking <laughs> 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 Oh, a delayed oh, callback dog. No, this, he's this sad. Is terrible. He's sad. terrible. He says that whole of part. Dead dogs. It's such a it's so awkward. <laughs> I hate it. Ah. I don't want anyone to hear it. They hear about our disgusting dog. They'll stop listening. You know what they did accept? Those um, comments. No, those uh, the food from McDonald's. All right, so uh, you guys want to listen to uh, Time and Gun sing us into some comments? I do. I do. Sounds good to me. Just like Tommy Gun. The videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section where people can type out how it felt and thoughtful reflections of the videos they just watched. Like you and I would laugh on Wednesdays. Now the gang will read a few. It's really hard to rhyme the word Wednesday. Beautiful, Beautiful. Tommy Gun. Fucking yeah. every time he comes into this room. No, Matt. No, I don't believe you. Anyway, <laughs> our first comment this week comes from conspiracy. Cut me. <laughs> Matt's gonna. Matt's gonna break. Uh, break. Conspiracy check writes. We were discussing conspiracies uh, art style last week. The Boondocks. Damn, that's a hell of a compliment. So apparently she's a she's uh uh that's like my favorite show. Uh I might have absorbed the art style like a sponge. That would make sense. Yeah. That's pretty but I dangerous. do agree to absorb art style? No, like through your skin. Like a sponge. Like a sponge. Yeah. Well, what if you have a sponge like quality about you? But no, I mean like physically. Oh. Yeah. I would hire that man as a thief and take him to the Louvre. Oh my. But what are you absorbing? Because um, if it's art style, I think you can absorb all that you want. Mostly chemicals. Yeah, that you shouldn't absorb. Okay. Yeah. But, but the art stuff... What if you yes. steal it, like the Monstars? Oh. Yeah. That's not nice That's or not, good. I mean, you can't... But <laughs> That's not that worked nice. out well for them. <laughs> hey, why did the Monstars change size, but the NBA players didn't? Because they were already Monsters. Oh. Wait, you know wh- what's funny, though? <laughs> <laughs> I was a better driver than my friend. I never told her what I did with her Mustang, but she ended up crashing and destroying. Oh my it. god! So, uh, man. Um, so, if you don't remember last week, conspiracy had told us a, a story about how she conquered her fear of driving by 
just but, driving towards a wall. Which we don't recommend. No, do definitely not, not do that. And you should not do this, but apparently she would speed towards a wall and then uh, the last second turn and stop herself from hitting the wall. And her friend's mustache. <clears throat> yeah. And that's uh, uh, that's and how apparently... chefs... Sorry. Go on, sorry. No, tell me about chefs. No, that's how chefs learn how to cut quick. They uh, do it to the tempo of uh, uh, Billy Joe's Billy Joel's uh, Piano Man. And that's how Really? They... Yes. No. I thought you were going to say I'm that lying. they learn how to cut in a Mustang while driving towards a wall. Oh, no, that would that'd be, be a fucking they great would, show. They would right? both lose their hands and crash. Oh, sorry. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Uh, conspiracy continues. <clears throat> would you guys ever play a Choose Your Own Adventure written by a fan? Because I do more than draw. I have, I have a novel with roughly 236,000 words. Wow. So far. I love to write... And I'd love to put it all. I'd love to put you all through hell. Smiley face with the tongue out. Um, if you like that idea, pitch me some genres to work with. If not, no hard feelings because uh, because reading is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Edit the pizza girl is me, you doofs. Oh, the pizza girl from her comic last week. Uh, the, the chat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm... That makes a lot of sense. Um, I didn't put two and two together. Oh. I thought it was just an assassin she sent. So as far as doing a choose your own adventure that was submitted by a fan, I would say, yeah, I, I would do I that. Would do in a that. I would do that. I'd be totally done. I think that'd be great. Um, we're beat cops. Beat cops. First off, that's not how writing from a fan. Well, she works. said genre. Ge- yeah, what genre? She said she needed mm. some genres. That's true. Horror. That's. Very broad Pretty, genre. Oh, you know what other? You know what else? What other genres? Try and work in there. We're beat cops in Louisiana because this is Gator Swamp too. What? Oh, I think someone should finally actually write the real Gator Swamp too. There's, wouldn't this be like four? No, <laughs> no. There's only one. Don't I, know why I need to be so clear about this for so many years. We can't count, Nikolai. Um, all right, so Beat Cops, horror, uh, uh, Gator Swamp to Louisiana. The Gators are running down the streets. Well, no, that, I mean, at this point. Oh, wait, no, Conspiracy's writing it. Yeah, yeah. at this point, that's that, this is, giving this, her more than enough. No, this no, is her no, no. I'm saying that's that's what you have to work with, Conspiracy. Yeah. Bring us gold. That or, is your mission, Conspiracy. Uh, there's, there's a, definitely a comment <laughs> in, in here that I'm looking at that I would like to address. Or we're okay. pirates. Okay, go um, <laughs> <laughs> we're pirates and this is a treasure hunt oh my god <laughs> go Matt um K-Rob 1290 <gasps> uh Crab Crab says uh pineapple is the best pizza topping fight me so uh, this is another comment based off of last week's episode cause Matt has very strong feelings about this yeah it's not good on pizza I don't like it I like meat on my pizza mhm all right. Yeah, pepperoni and chicken. Penis. Oh, uh, little tiny chicken penis. <laughs> so great. Tiny little chicken pee It's like little pieces of hard spaghetti. And they snap. You, snap. Do you like spaghetti al dente? What is Is that out of... Hard spaghetti. No. That's when they undercook it. Uh, is, is it crunchy? Not, not really. It's just... Has a, a di- bit of a dif- different texture to it. It's not mushy at all. It's not nearly as slimy. Hmm. No, thank you. You can finish boiling my spaghetti. <laughs> I like it mush. Yeah, I like the mush. Like, almost like a spaghetti paste. Do you, do you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. my spaghetti, please. I do like al dente. All right. <laughs> but I want to I wanna address this publicly. You made pineapple pizza yesterday. I did. I oh. made Hawaiian pizza. So you admit it. I but... admit. <laughs> <laughs> Were they slices of pineapple? Like yeah. how was the pineapple? I bought pineapple. I bought ham steak. I mm-hmm. cooked the ham steak. I bought dough and sauce and cheese, and I made a pineapple Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, but ham steak, okay. What dough, I'm saying sauce, is sauce, cheese, mm, pineapple. Okay, because yeah. all right, when pineapple pizza, it's big cubes. That's what I mean. Did oh, you make it big cubes? I did make it more bite-sized cubes. They were a little okay. bit smaller. I think I... That could be good. It's delicious. Oh. I love it. Oh, okay. Matt, I mean, it's all gone. He's... Don't... He's, don't... Don't believe his lies. <laughs> my dad and I ate it all. It was so good. Nice. Plus, 
WrestleMania is a very long show. So it was a don't. very long show. It yeah. needs to be two days. Man, it was not good. It's too long. It's too um, much mania. And 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 Seich isn't here. So. It's, he isn't here. And he loved that, that wrestling. <laughs> he loved it like a little dog. I don't know if Seich's feelings on pineapple pizza, but no, I pi- think I think he'd be in in, in oh, my he, league. I'm pretty sure he hates it. Yeah. Because you should. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost certain you You'll try it once. Go ahead. So I should not for being like the same person. I hate food. Like, we love some of the same foods and then have very strong opinions about other foods that are very different. Like, like he uh, hates ketchup, loves mustard, ooh, and that's total ooh. opposite for me. I like mustard either. is disgusting. It's garbage. What is it. mustard made out of? It's seeds, like seeds, mustard seeds, but it's made out of disgustingness. Oh. Yeah. It has the taste of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like hot shit. I hate it. I hate mustard. All it's of a it. very, very strong. I will use. Uh, you know how to ruin something? Add mustard to it. Not always. Okay. Always. So you can use mustard in like. Oh, that's mustard encrusted? No, thank you. You can use mustard in a dressing. Um, pretty well, small amounts, but openly putting it on as a condiment on like burgers and hot dogs get so far out of my face. It's disgusting. Yeah, I don't, I don't do anything with my hot dog. I just eat it. Yeah, you don't put anything on your hot dogs. Nope, plain. Of course, I'm a weirdo. Would you onions and ketchup? Would you eat like a chili cheese dog? Oh, I, I crush chili cheese. What do they put? Yeah, yeah. It's a hot dog with chili and cheese on it. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but that's not like a go-to. That's like no, an occasional that, thing. You gotta. I can't even remember Ooh. the last time I had one. Guys, a birthday hot dog a, with like, cake on top of uh, the hot dog. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> nope. You There's get, not a lot of sweet that two, I like with savory. Two meals, one deal. <laughs> Done. Now at Arby's. Arby's. They have the meats. <laughs> Ow. Their commercials are unbelievable. The Arby's commercials. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the was, talking talking thin rains. What was that? Uh, apparently, it is a laptop key that I just stabbed myself with. Oh God! That <laughs> That's why I heard like, ow. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Stop doing that. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Oh jeez. Oh, number, is that uh? That's the number two. It's just the number two from from, no, from Seich's laptop. laptop. Really? He lost it, and we could we couldn't like hit number two because it was gone. Send him that. Oh in my god! Right now. He showed up in spirit. Oh we my talked god! Seich did. Your number two. You're number two. <laughs> oh, is your number two? <laughs> number two. Number make one. It. Number no. one. <laughs> Man, I love that show, Scrubs. Oh god! Is there what's like one of your favorite shows on TV? That's right, like a comedy right now. That's on right. No, there's not a single comedy on right now for you. What about uh, the, what's the one where uh, Lonely Island guy? Uh Brooklyn Nine Nine is Brooklyn? very funny. I think you might like a show called AP Bio, with it's the it's the uh, Dennis from Always Sunny show, with Pat Oswald is the principal of the uh, of the high school, and Dennis is the he, yes. he is a oh, former yeah. f- a Harvard philosophy professor. Who has been disgraced, um, and then he's now teaching and living in his dead mom's house. Ooh, I saw, I saw the trailer for it. Oh, it looks it's, very funny. It's very funny. Um, it is really, really <laughs> funny. I tell you, I hamstring myself a lot because I made the uh, foolish decision to use my television as my computer monitor. So that's what you end up using it for. All and the time. I, I don't even have a cable box hooked up in my room because mm-hmm. I'm literally never. I just my my form of internet of uh, entertainment is the internet. Yeah, always that makes sense. Man, I watch Critical Role every week, but that's about it. That's four hours of D and D. Oh my god, it's so good. All all four hours. Is it's like it's riveting. a it's a no. Well, I'm not gonna say it's a movie every week, but it is some good Dungeons and Dragons thing that those people mm-hmm. do. They D and D all over the place. They are masters. There's so much of the craft. They control their hose with accuracy. I would give. I, would, uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I, I, I nothing for that. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Um, I would recommend people giving an episode, try it out. They just started a new season. If you guys wanted to, all right. 
So oh. check it out, fuckers. Yeah, fuckers. Fuckers. Gotcha. Do you remember the last time you were offended? Last time I was offended? Yeah. Yeah, about was, 12 minutes ago. I mean, Matt. Your fucking God. face, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Making back bitches. <laughs> that little kid called me fat at work. What? Yeah. When did that happen? Like a couple days ago. He just walked up and he's like... No, no, I told him he had to leave. What did you do? What did, hold on, you gotta go back more now. Did you well, slap okay. him, Matt? So, <laughs> did you slap him good? No, we have kids in playing... Uh, Xbox computer games all the time. Uh-huh. These fuckers. Uh, so they come in and they play Fortnite fuckers. just all day, and they'll yeah. sit there for hours on end playing uh, Fortnite. For playing Fortnite, and I'm just like, this is your life. Yeah. Um, but anywho, how old are they? Age ranges. Age ranges. But they're children. Matter. Can be children. Can be college age kids. Does not matter. College age. Wait, but I, do I they... love that college age is kids now. By the way. And they, and they college age is an adult. They're kids. You're, yeah, but <laughs> you're 22. You're an adult. Would you? Are they okay, with their? Matter, okay. matter. You meet yourself at 21 now. I'd call him kid. Is that a yeah, kid? I would. Yeah. <laughs> you would sit down and you go. You don't know shit about fuck. That'd be a different podcast. If this is 21 year old Nikolai. Boy oh boy, would these stories be different. <laughs> The lobster be, creature. Be a lot more... Consi- yeah, a tw- lot of lobster 25. creatures. That's what I was going to say. Ooh, watch out. 25. I was really into lobsters. Ooh. I loved the pincers. I, I like that the- it's a lot of different lobster creatures. Like, how many? <laughs> There's how many a lot more? Of- I love crustaceans. <laughs> <laughs> I was really into it. Then. Every so, week, a different crustacean. I was like, man, college... <laughs> And finding Dr- clam and shells. lobsters. That's what I love. <laughs> Drinking, schoolwork, and lobsters. Hanging with my boys. <laughs> and <laughs> lobsters. <laughs> you didn't say it. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> College and lobsters. Oh my god, that's great. <sighs> it's totally true. There's too. three things in life that I love: drinking, slaying <laughs> Nani, <laughs> and, and lobster. Lobsters. What does that mean? Lobster. Like, I meant the second one, but also <laughs> the third one. Sure. <laughs> Oh man! What do you just just lobs like in general? Like you like eating them? Oh, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> don't, you don't answer the question. You just give an offended grunt. Oh, <laughs> where do I get started? Eating them just part of my lobster game. I'm about lobsters. Actually, what I'm doing on Tuesday? <laughs> what do you do Tuesday? <laughs> On Tuesdays for lobsters. <laughs> Tuesdays, you know, like Tuesdays for the boys. That's the title of the episode. Oh. Tuesdays for lobsters. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> That's what we think about lobsters. I mean, can I, uh, just that... as an aside, like background look into RLF. <laughs> Why the individual quotes? Oh, um, just uh, different, yeah, things that could be names or maybe oh, the description. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Got you. <laughs> the um, taste of assholes would be pretty, <laughs> pretty forward. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> the taste of assholes. When you were describing mustard. Oh. <laughs> it has the taste of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> alright so do we have another comment let's read one, at least one or two more um a story uh, Brian the Great says that story about the guy in Scotland is true the dude trained his dog to be the most disgusting thing ever to piss off his girlfriend because she was saying it was the cutest thing ever the joke's pr- uh, premise is that Nazis are disgusting and the court said that the context didn't matter all right, so I got a lot of heat on the comment section this week uh, Wait, you because did? I not not only a lot of heat, but like a lot of people were commenting about this because we brought this story up last week. Okay, uh, and people were like, "Really, you couldn't have just read the article?" 
and like, oh, you could take the two seconds to read the article and just learn about it. There's at least one or two comments. And like, we had a bunch of facts. The, I don't think I really. I just talked about how Tell Him Steve Dave talked about it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But now they're a week later. Mm-hmm. I have still not read the article. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's talk about this thing some more. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the the guy's name was Count Dankula. So whatever happened to him uh-huh. deserved. Yes, he was a YouTuber happen. apparently, right? Or yes. he was a he was a Twitch streamer. What's it a, called? I don't know. He was a, an internet celebrity. Yes, I have no idea either because I did there. not read the it article was up there. as well. It was up there. It's, it's too late, Matt. I can't okay. go back. You can't go oh. back. <laughs> but that is kind of crazy that someone could go to jail. And now, albeit, no matter your opinion of the joke, the dog should go to jail. Of course, that yeah. No, first and foremost, yes, the dog's the dog going to jail to for life. Yeah, because the dog did it. Not he this was guy. not being a good boy. No. <laughs> No, but no matter your opinion on the joke, in my opinion, I don't think that anybody should go to jail for a joke. I know. Now, I no. I, I don't know, because I, I can be offended by jokes. I can think that things are offensive or hurtful and, you know, words are, can be used like weapons. But at the same time, you should definitely still have the ability to say what. Because a, a, a joke is not a quantifiable thing. You can say anything was a joke. I don't know. Because this guy, because what he did, he taught his dog how to Nazi salute and then, like, he made a video about it or, like, made a. Yeah, he, brought, he did it to piss off his girlfriend. And he sent a bunch of postcards yeah. to his girlfriend, I think, too. I mean, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. That No, it's really fucked up. It is really fucked up. But. That dog has to go to jail. I don't know. Unless she felt like she was being harassed, I don't see what the crime could be. I don't know. I, I know that in America, you can't technically say whatever you want. You can't scream fire. You can't scream fire, but you also can't use threatening language towards people, too. Can that dog really Nazi salute? You want me to grab your willy? No, that's what I say isn't sometimes. Isn't a dog Nazi that's saluting? Assault, and that's just, illegal. Isn't but, a dog Nazi saluting just asking for pausies? Like, <laughs> like, if it was a golden retriever, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, or German Shepherd, man, there you go. That's if it would, um, that's true. Golden retrievers would be the allies in a dog reenactment of World War II. Would you? Wait, you think oh, the golden retriever is the uh, what? Let's be. I think dog, the United right? States would portray the golden retriever. I as think their that dog. America thinks they're the golden retriever, but in actuality, well, no, in forty-five, and or they were the 40, golden retriever, yeah. Now we're, uh, uh, bu- I don't know, bulldogs? I think we're like a pit bull mix. Ooh. Yeah. We're like a pit bull mix with something like... And we're like, way overfed. <laughs> like, bulky. <laughs> we got a thick neck. <laughs> Look at that dog. We got a thick neck. And we're... Um, and that Rottweiler over in Russia is just like, we can take him. <laughs> Rottweiler? I don't know enough about dogs in Russia. No, it's uh, Rottweiler's a German dog. I just that is what I thought of when I see Vladimir Putin. Mm. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Cool. Oh. Rottweilers are German dogs. How did you know that? I think the name is just German, isn't it? Rottweiler. Rottweiler. I wouldn't even. I would have no and, idea. And, all right, and actually, speaking of a uh, World War Two, yes. Um, real quick, because we're always talking about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. nonstop. Uh, we do. Um, I want to. We have a real quick fan art. Can I? Just yeah, uh, that baby. was your that was your segue for the fan art. All right, Tommy Gunn. <laughs> what? <laughs> from the fans, from the heart, it is RLL fan art. What was your World War Two thing? Segway King. Oh, because the picture is kind of has to do with World War Two. Oh, okay. sorry. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Tommy Gunn. Oh, Tommy Gunn. You sexy as hell. Alright, thanks. Again. They are a German dog. I was right. Oh, really? Yeah. The German word for a Rottweiler is a Rottweiler Metzgerhund. Wow. Oh. Jim Jams. I always feel like the German word for something is just the longer version of the American It's word. a lot of... Uh, With more consonants. It's tiny words. Because glove... Is hand and then shoe, so you say hand and shoe. 
And that's what a glove is. That's what a glove is? Yeah. Uh, a tortoise so is... So what are socks? Uh, they're just zucker. Oh. I'm that's pretty sure. That's what that hund is dog. Uh, yeah, so at the end, it's like a big red dog. <laughs> it's like, you just... They, they actually say on here, Rottweil is, the, Rottweil is the area they were found in. Okay. And Metzger is butcher, because they were used to herd cattle and meats. Oh, wow. So they are a Rottweil and Metzger hunt. Hot dogs. Wow. Science, everyone. I brought my knowledgeable thing. I don't think that thing. counts as science. That's, that's, that's language. Dogs are science? What? Dogs aren't science. Uh, dogs are science. Kermit, dogs are it, science. Dogs are science. You know what else are, is science? Frogs. Dreams are science. <laughs> oh, no. Now, Lucian. No, no, no way. Adron. Don't worry. Because okay. Lucian has redeemed himself. I really hope it's not a Nazi frog. Keep them firing. Buy war bonds. So oh, he's drawn. Okay. He's drawing allied Kermit. The oh, allied okay. Kermit. Nice. So we now we have American Kermit. We got a whole like Kermit World War Two <laughs> thing going. Is Lucian on. gonna Lucian. draw World War Two <laughs> in all Kermit oh, characters? Wow, that's actually a good idea. I want to see oh. Kermit's storming the beaches of Normandy. Just oh. <laughs> Kermit, um, uh, Ro- uh, Roosevelt, Kermston Winchell. <laughs> <laughs> Churchill is Kermit the Frog. Oh my god, yes. Just a... Oh, do Kermit... Kermit, you do the voice. We'll fight them on the beaches. Oh, oh well. We'll fight them in the beaches. In the air. <laughs> on the land. Oh, That's pretty good. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. That was funny as hell. Oh, Kermit. It's a... Uh, that's what Lucian draws now. It's just beautiful, Kermit. Lucian. Just, I, I got a question for Lucian. I don't know if you were going to address this the next time you send us a fan art. Why did Kermit change his shade on this one here, Lucian? Cause what do you mean? I, I think he's a different green. I can't see color, Nikolai. Oh, okay. I forgot that you were colorblind and racist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it really does make sense that the, the, uh, the German Kermit was lighter skinned. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. That's all I'm asking. I just wonder if the artist did that on purpose or not. I'm gonna say uh, yes. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, that's a, it's that's definitely a, a uh, it's a definitely a lighter shade. Maybe the uh, the God, that's weird to look at. Maybe that's... the <laughs> maybe the poster that he based it off of. It, it's a lighter frog. <laughs> I love that if you were detained at some point by TSA <laughs> with that card, they're like, let me look through his pictures and see what's going on. Oh, <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> He's some sort of <laughs> guy who likes Fog? pictures of Kermit. <laughs> I would just have to be like, yeah, I jerk off to those. Because <laughs> that's how you get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, he jerks off to Kermit as Hitler, I guess. Um, um, we'll give it back to him. Not on a list. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> oh, no. You're on a, a list. Yeah, I'm on a list. A but couple now, of them. Now I'm not on a, another list that says right. I, you know, I fuck Can't fly. K- Kermit. Yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> This list is for people who can't fly. This list is for people who fuck Kermits. <laughs> and you're both of Or jerk off to Kermits. And now you're doing both of them, buddy. Now don't mix them up. <laughs> Last guy who did that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. So oh yeah, uh, another uh, fan art we got coming up here. Who is this from? Oh, just you wait. It's from the one and only Monica. Monica. Monica says So let me get the sappy stuff out of the way first My name is Nova and I've been a fan for a long time How long you might ask? Well, say in a nasally voice Al, when the fuck is the 500 sub special coming out? God, I'm unsubscribing now, bitch And I love every video you make To thank you I made a fan art of the RLFers I don't draw that much anymore Due to my asshole of an art teacher Hating manga Which was my shit But now I'm trying to get back into it Oh nice I did this one in 40 or so minutes from memory, so it's not the best. The art is heavily based off of DDLC, Doki Doki Literature oh, Club. Oh, Doki Doki Literature Club, okay. And going right to left, here is the cast. Nikki is Natsuki because he loves anime and manga, but does talk, but does not talk about it openly, and is a Sundia who loves everyone, yet he does not 
show it. And he's a small man who gets in fights. He won't win. Okay, Odin, you got your... uh, Oh, nice. Nice. You got your Russian stuff going on. You zoom in, I can't see it. Yes. Oh, man. I like the... uh, Oh, man, you're walking with sass. You have... uh, I like that, the pose, the power pose. Oh my god! And it does look like I am wearing. I am wearing a tutu. We all are. Oh, we uh, all. I think those are skirts. Oh, skirts. so are we all are cheerleading practice. What is uh, this? To uh, Tuki Tuki, Doki Doki Literature Club is a uh, a manga or anim- uh, I think it's both. Um, it's a it's a Japanese cartoon. That uh, is about okay people in a literature club. I know that Doki Doki is the sound that Japanese people use to express the fast beating of a heart right. like you're in okay. love. So this is RLF RLF Podcast Club. <laughs> look at me. I've got my... All our skirts are flowing. Matt, look at you. You're blushing. You beautiful baby. I mean, yeah. I'm just... Huh. Matt, you are a beautiful baby. And then we got this um, interdimensional being here. Oh, it's uh, Seich. Oh, Seich. That's what it says up top. Oh, wow. <clears throat> there, he is an interdimensional being. Yeah, he's just he's just shade. <laughs> 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 All right, it is kind of funny. That guy shouldn't have gone to jail. <laughs> um, uh, Al is Monica because he's the the head of the podcast. Like how Monica is the club president. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. And is the smarties of the group and the best looking. No. Just like Monica. Mm-hmm. Matt as Yuri Bear, claws are like knives, right? Yeah. yeah. That is true. Leslie, yeah. Oh, because Sight just disappeared into the other dimension. Thank you for the great times and love you all. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Monica. Appreciate that. Yeah, that was very cool. Oh, wow. Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm unfamiliar with the Doki Doki Literature, but I, I enjoyed the picture. Thank you very much. Um, we need to look at the uh, background a little bit on the right. Is there something? Oh, that is a couch pattern. That is definitely is a couch that what pattern. That is? Okay, yep. That is definitely a couch pattern. My God. Look, is that the makings of uh, what could be a finger in the bottom? <laughs> yes. This is Yep, that proof. is definitely finger. Did you read what is being said? No, um... I, I must gay. I don't like bring Al, even if it's for fan art. That's what I, I don't can like read. drawing Al. No, it says B E I N G. Being oh okay. well, thank All you right. for the fan art, Monica. Well done. When you are like, I don't know how to approach this. This is an important topic too. Um, do you brush and then floss, or do you floss and then brush? I don't floss. You don't floss. But if you were to... Brush and floss for me. And I think that's wrong. Think about it. Like If you were to, and you, you brush and then floss? Is that what you said, said? I brush and then I floss, yes. I do the same. But I, I think like technically but it's I don't wrong. understand why that's wrong. Because in my opinion, if you were to... And then this is the conversation that we ended up having uh, at work. Because if you brush and then you floss... Mm-hmm. I feel like you just, you know, you just cleaned yourself up. You're all set. But, like, if you floss and then brush, you're just kind of brushing in all the stuff you just cleaned out from the sides of your teeth into your teeth. It seems like we're right. It almost doesn't make sense. I don't know why. It should be, ideally, it should be, uh, like, I'd be lying if I said I flossed. Ideally, it should be brush, floss, wash. Like, mouth. I think you're supposed to rinse after both, which I do. I think that does. Yeah, yeah. As long as you do both, I don't think it really matters. I used to do the uh, the swish, the mouthwash. I yeah. don't do the mouthwash anymore. I, I I ran out and then I just never bought anymore. It just always kind of like you got to stand there and just. Yeah, I never do thirty seconds. No, never. Never. I don't think don't. anybody does. Just if go. you do, you're a liar. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> I don't I mean, believe you. One RLFer, I think, does. Like, th- ten seconds in, you're like, just fucking shoot me. Oh, man. You mean, like, with a gun? Like, a big gun? I mean, what yeah. else could you get shot with? Arrow. Oh. You got me there. Shoot me with a gun, yeah. Just. Play. Oh, no! Why? Can't do that. No, we're not Absolutely doing that, cannot do that. You know why. Why not? Over 260 episodes, and you don't know why? You fucking... Don't because if attention. I need a gun... I don't want to be there. Oh, that's a great slogan. We should use that as a sign-off. Yeah. Oh, my God, Matt. Someday we will. 